So I'm making these videos because over at the Unity official Discord channels, I have been answering some repetitive questions almost daily. So for that reason, I wanted to make sure that I could make some videos and just paste them in to answer the questions rather than typing them out or creating new screenshots on a regular basis. So what I want to do is I want to show you that the common question is how do I make sure that the light does not affect set object or one or multiple objects. And now this is by no means a tutorial or how good lighting should look like. This is more of a here is a method to solve your problem type of video. So you have a couple of spotlights. Let's assume it's, it's a hallway and the character is walking around, right? And you don't really like the walls uh, having the light. So you want to get rid of it. So you can select all the spotlights, you can create a new layer and you can call it ignore. Actually, it's kept it from the last time I had someone. So let's just keep it ignore walls. So that means we save some time now. So let's just pick ignore walls. So we created this layer and it's called ignore walls. Let's select the walls as well. And let's so it's so receive shadow is on. That's okay. And that's fine. But let's go to layers and also pick ignore walls. Okay, so these have the layers ignore walls. The light have the layer ignore walls. You don't need to have it, you can turn it off. But what you do need to make sure is that it says off on culling mask for ignore walls. So basically, what it does is it doesn't cast light. Obviously, this introduces a new issue which is basically that you will not have any light whatsoever. For that, you obviously need to do your lighting. So for example, I might add a spotlight, you know, to simulate that the area is lit, maybe some area lights. That's besides the problem or all the issue here as I'm trying to show you how I would light this proper. Now, let's say you wanted to have this light cast on the walls so you will select the walls and you will put, you will keep it to ignore other you will select the lights and you would make sure it instead says ignore other so put the wall give this one ignore other so now you have no light whatsoever uh, and it's affecting both the floor and everything so you could uh, again you could turn it on and you would have specific light just on the character okay and you'll also notice the character receives a single light which is from the the point light basically right so the point light is lighting up the wall and it's lighting up the everything. Turn it off, you lose everything. And the spotlight is only casting on top of the character. Now let's say you wanted to have instead of a light that goes like a bends over and it reveals the lighting source basically, right? It's telling me that there's a lighting source in the middle it's because of the shadow you could turn off the shadow you could do it for a couple of things but let's say you turn this off completely all right and you introduce uh, a directional light which normally you wouldn't uh, add unless you had some really good reason but let's say you do it and you know why you should do it and you know your way around it right so let's just place it out somewhere around 90 degrees Right, let's turn on the shadow. So now you can see that your character uh, is uh, casting one directional light from top down, which some people might want to do if it's top, top down shooting or for whatever reason, right? But it also starts becoming a bit bright and you're still losing light on some of the areas, right? So if I do default, 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 you'll see that it's casting a lot of light everywhere. And you can also see it on top here. You could counter this 
right? You can see if I do this, this is what happens, right? And if I move it around, you can still see a little bit of double shadow down here. It's because they are softer. They're not as strong as the black strong light. So for to solve this, again, you could say that you don't want light to be affected on the floor. So you would say ignore floor and you would turn on ignore floor and you can see it dims down a bit. On top of that, let's say you don't want the light on the walls, so you could say ignore walls. You could say ignore walls. Sorry, it's a bad habit I have. Ignore walls. All right. And then you could maybe turn on the point light. And for the point light, you don't actually need to have cast shadow. You can do no shadow. So now you have a solution where you have control over the walls, the floor, and it's moving around. Now let's say it's too bright on the floor and you just want the light on the walls from the point light. Right? For whatever reason. Right? You could just do ignore floor and you'll see it doesn't affect the floor. You could also give the character its own let's say you know other for the character and let's say it's too much light being affected it's super bright so we don't necessarily want that right so go there you click ignore other and you can see it balances out a little bit on the character obviously this affects the walls you would have a different one for the walls too so these are different ways of solving this challenge and issue and uh, yeah, hopefully it's useful. You get an idea of how the lighting works when you're using the layers to control what should be affected, what shouldn't be affected, and how you go on about it, right? So if I go back to normal and everything, right? Um, this is casting on everything. This is casting on everything. And this is casting they're all casting and everything right now you would need to spend some considerable time to make it look more appropriate right so another thing you might want to do is using uh, light blockers or fake shadows to solve some of the problems when you don't want light to go somewhere or you need something fake for that you can watch the next video thanks for watching